Good afternoon. Um, we're here. We're going to be talking a little bit about virtual terminal, more specifically the advantages of using a virtual terminal. Um, as part of the introduction, we'll just talk a little bit uh, about what the virtual terminal is. Uh, basically, in today's uh, business environment, uh, it's very common to have business parties um, be separated in very, very far distances. Um, there's very little face-to-face -face, um, interaction with a lot of people who do business together. And one of the tools that actually make this uh, possible is the virtual terminal. Virtual terminal is a payment solution that substitutes the credit card terminal that's used in, in the traditional um, business setting where there is a, it's a card present transaction. Um, the virtual terminal basically it's a, it's a web-based uh, solution that's best suited for uh, businesses that are processing mail orders. Um, they're manually um, taking in orders over the phone um, or if the merchant is out and about either at their customer's place of business or maybe they are selling products and services at trade shows, um, fairs, carnivals and festivals. Now as far as the uh, virtual terminal and how it works, uh, the virtual terminal it's a real simple process. Uh, it's where the merchant will get the card and will be manually keying in the, the cardholder's information. Um, to complete the payment. Basically the merchant will log on to a web portal with their username and password and after they've logged on the merchant will enter in the, the cardholder's 16 digit um, card number, expiration date, um, the security code on the back of the card and then the transaction amount. After they have input that information and hit enter um, the virtual terminal will, will, will take that information, process that, and will let the merchant know whether or not the payment has been accepted or declined. And finally, as far as the payment types and, and what the, uh, the uh, types of transactions that the merchant could expect to be able to process it with the, with the um, virtual terminal, first and foremost, and of course, it's going to be the regular bank cards. We're talking about credit cards, gift cards, debit cards, prepaid cards. And then secondly, the, the second type of uh, payment that, that maybe merchants aren't aware that they can use to process payments with the virtual terminal is ACH payments, uh, where they only have the, maybe the checking information for the merchant. There are certain virtual terminals that give you that functionality where you can actually um, automatically take the, those funds out of the customer's um, um, a personal or business uh, bank account. And that's basically the advantages of virtual terminal. Thank you.